The first step to understand how to install Metric Beat is to get yourself familiar with where to download the binaries from Metric Beat. So open a browser and point to elastic.co to open the main page of the Elastic website. Once you get there, just click in this options that says products and then navigate to the sub option that says downloads. In the download page, you are going to be presented with all the possible downloads that you can get from the Elastic website. There will be options for Elasticsearch, Logstash, Kibana, APM, and of course, Beats. Since we are interested in downloading the metric beat, just go ahead and click in the option Download under Beats. As we mentioned before, there are different types of beats. So in the Beats page, you are going to be asked to select which beat you are going to download. There are different types of beats available for download. File beat, packet beat, winlog beat, heartbeat, audit beat, and of course, metric beat, which is the option we are interested in this case. So just go ahead and click and download under metric beat. The download page will provide you with different options to download metric beat. The first section of the page called Downloads is going to give you the options to download the binaries for different operating systems where you could install metric beat. Namely, there will be options for Linux, Windows, and Mac. Right below, there will be under the Packet Manager options Installation instructions if you want to install Metric Beat for either Linux or Mac using Yum, apt-get, or Homebrew. Also, there will be the containers options where you're going to be presented with options to install either on Docker and Kubernetes. We're not going to cover the details about how to install Metric Beat under Docker and Kubernetes, but if you're interested in how to do this, just leave a comment below and the Elastic Community team will make sure that this content will be made available. It is important to highlight the fact that perhaps the version that you are going to download cannot necessarily be the last one. In this particular case, we have been brought to the download metric beat from the 7.12.11 version, which is the current version as of the time of recording of this tutorial. But if you need a different version from metric beat, just scroll down the page and click in this option here called Pass Releases. If you click in this option, you are going to be presented with all the possible and previous releases from Matric Beat that you could download and install. For this particular installation, we are not going to download directly from the Elastic page. We're going to use a terminal where we're going to download the binary from there, but just keep in mind that that approach is essentially downloading the binary from the very same location that the web page is also going to provide. Since I'm running Fedora Linux 64 bits on my laptop, I am going to download the 7.12 release of metric beat that is compatible with this platform. Once the download finishes, just extract the contents of this deployment archive into a folder. Once the extraction finishes, use any two of your choice to explore the contents of the folder. In this particular case, I am going to use Visual Studio Code to visualize and work with the files from 
the metric B deployment archive. Now that we have metric B installed locally, let's start playing with the technology before I actually understand the files and folders that comprises the deployment archive. For this exercise, we are going to export some system metrics from my uh, local machine to a Elasticsearch and Kibana that is also running locally. Then, we're going to change the configuration to export those metrics to a Elasticsearch and Kibana clusters that are running on Elastic Cloud. So the first thing you got to do is to make sure everything related to your configuration and your connectivity are in place. Metric Beat comes with a set of utilities that allows you to check all those things. So just execute the executable uh, from the hood folder and use the option test. The option test comes with two other options. First, you can use the config to, as the name implies, to check your configuration. Then you can use the same test to actually check your output. We're going to cover how Metric Beat is actually communicated with Elasticsearch later on, but for now, just let's focus on the fact that Metric Beat comes with a default configuration out of the box that points to a local installation of Elasticsearch. We're going to explore those later on. Now that everything is up and running, let's take a look into the Elasticsearch and Kibana installations to see what we are currently have. This is my local setup of Kibana. If we go to the management page, you're going to see that there are no indexes created. So this is a vanilla installation of Kibana. And since there are no indices, obviously there are no index patterns. So what we're going to do in Matric Beat is actually instruct Kibana to install some of the indexes and dashboards that will be necessary to explore the metrics. In order for you to do this, just run the command setup from the executable found on the hood folder of your installation. When you run the setup command, Metric Beat will initiate a connection both with your Elasticsearch cluster and your Kibana clusters to start the creation of the needed artifacts that Metric Beat needs in order to export metrics uh, and visualize them on Kibana. This might take up to a minute depending on the speed of your machine and your network connection. Once all the indices and dashboards are loaded, you can go back to your Kibana and check again what are the artifacts that has been created. So if you go to index management, now you're going to see that there is an index created that usually start with the prefix metric beat and has a naming convention that we will explore further. Also, an index pattern will be created, which means that you can use the discover option on Kibana to play with the data coming from metric beat. But as of now, in order to make sure that we are running things smoothly, we need to start metric beat to start exporting metrics to Kibana. So just execute metric beat with no other option. Once you start metric beat, it will start whatever modules has been enabled as well as start collecting the metric sets from those modules. By default, there is a module called system that is enabled by default when you first install metric beat. Because of this, if you go to the metrics option under observability, 
you're going to see that there will be some metrics already coming in. Rifle is the name of my machine, my host name. So if you click under Rifle A, you're going to see that there will be some metrics already being loaded. There are the full metrics and the optional metrics that can be further enabled in Metric Beat. We're not going to play with this as it's now. To double check if everything's okay, we can also use the Discover option where we can see the actual documents that has been sent to Elasticsearch for indexing purposes. So those are the documents that were generated by Metric Beat and collected information from my machine. Now that everything is up and running and working as expected, let's stop Metric Beat and change the configuration to send the same information for a Elasticsearch and Kibana cluster running on Elastic Cloud. This is a deployment that was created previously that is running on Elastic Cloud on Google Cloud. So let's go to the management option to see whatever artifacts are created. So as you can see here, there are no indices created as well as there are no index patterns. So we're going to have to run the setup command once again from metric beat to create all the artifacts. But before doing that, we need to make sure that metric beat will be able to communicate with Elastic Cloud. In order for you to do this, you have to go back to your metric beat configuration file and open the file called metricbeat.yaml. In this file, you're going to see that there will be a bunch of options pre-set up for you. If you scroll down further, you're going to see that there will be this option called Setup Kibana. In this option, you have to uncomment the option Host and set here the endpoint of your Kibana application. To retrieve this information, go back to Elastic Cloud and click on Copy Endpoint. And then you can simply come back here and pass this information. If you scroll down further, you're going to see that there will be this option here that says all the options for your Elastic Cloud configuration. There will be two options that you have to enable. The first one is called the Cloud ID. This is a string that you can obtain it from the Elastic Cloud UI. So go back to the Elastic Cloud UI and under Applications, you can see that the Elastic Cloud makes it really easy for you to retrieve this information. So just click here on Copy to Clipboard to retrieve the cloud ID of this Elastic Cloud deployment and passed as a string. The other information that you need to set for Metric B to communicate with Elastic Cloud is the cloud auth. This is going to be essentially a combination of your username and password that was created for your deployment on Elastic Cloud. If you don't remember what was your username and password for your deployment, you can easily go to your deployment and click on the management option and choose the reset password. If you do this, you are going to replace the existing password and credentials and generate a new one. So just go ahead and click Reset Password, Confirm, and there you have it. You're going to have your 
username and new password, where you can optionally download as a CSV file. I'm not going to download in this case, I'm just going to copy the username, pass it here, use a column to separate the username and password, and then copy the password and pass it in your configuration. After doing this, you are now ready to warm, run the metric beat setup command. And if you do this, now metric beat will know that it has to communicate with Elastic Cloud. An important thing to note is that every time you set the Elastic Cloud options in the configuration file, this will automatically override whatever other output has been defined here in the configuration. So it means that the Cl Elastic Cloud takes precedence in your configuration file. So let's run the setup command one more time and then we are going to start metric beat. You can optionally actually test your output, make sure that everything is okay. Now let's run the setup command to create all the needed artifacts. Now that setup command has finished, let's start metric beat one more time so it can start gathering metrics from my local machine and sending them out to Elastic Cloud. Meanwhile, let's go back to our Kibana and check whatever artifacts has been now created. If we click again into index management, you're going to see that there is a metric beat index created as well as a index pattern. To double check if everything is in place, just use the metrics app under observability again to see if there is information coming from the sources. Once again, the Rifery host has been discovered and if you click on this host, you're going to see that the metrics are now being generated. Finally, you can also use the Discover option on Kibana to also see the documents coming from Mac Mac Repeat. From this point on, you are now equipped to actually Download, install, and use Metric Beat with your Elasticsearch and Kibana deployments, whether if they are running on prem or on Elastic Cloud. In the sequence, we're going to explore some of the options available on Metric Beat related to the uh, configuration.